brought to you by L&M, the modern cigarette that lets you get full, exciting flavor through the modern miracle of the pure white miracle tip. Live modern. Smoke L&M. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad. The transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America. And the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful. And a little lonely. <laughs> Oh, Kitty. Oh, Miss Kitty. I'm looking for your partner, Kitty. Oh, Sam? Mm -hmm. He's in back breaking out a shipment of whiskey we just got. Sit down. He'll be here in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> Sam in trouble, Matt? Oh, no, Kitty. I just wanted some information from him. It's nothing oh. important. Well, that's good. Who are those two men? I don't know. They're strangers to me. That one wearing a gun, I'd like to keep a stranger. Hey, where is the owner of this place? You don't look like he's going to make nobody happy. Hey. Uh, excuse me. Let Sam take care of him, Kitty. Well, it's my job, too. Go get the owner, miss. We want to talk to him. I'm one of the owners. You? What is it you want? Well, we can't do business with no woman, Brees. And what's wrong with doing business with a woman, mister? Well, it ain't fitting, that's all. Well, what's going on, Kitty? You the real owner here, mister? Miss Kitty and I own it together. What can we do for you? My name's Tom Brees. This here is Red Temple. I'm Sam Noonan. They say this saloon's worth about $15,000. Is that right? I guess that's about right. Why? We want to buy it. What? They said we want to buy it. We'll give you 10000 cash. You just said yourself it's worth fifteen. I hadn't finished. We'll give you ten thousand down, five thousand a year for the next two years. That makes twenty thousand in all. You'll give us twenty thousand dollars? Go check at the bank. The first ten's on deposit there right now, and your banker, Mr. Botkin, will have the bill of sale drawn up by tomorrow morning. You're awful sure of yourself, aren't you, Brace? Now, Kitty, all they want to do is give us twenty thousand dollars. Where are you men from, anyway? Abilene. We come in on the Santa Fe this morning, and our money is good. This is kind of sudden, but $20,000... Well, what do we want to sell for, Sam? This is a good business. Sam knows a good deal, miss. Trust him. Sure, if it's legitimate, why not? Well, I don't know. Look, why don't you two talk it over and we'll come back in the morning and settle everything. Yeah, we'll talk it over, all right. Sam can't sell without me. Oh. Well, you listen to him now. He knows what he's doing. We'll see you in the morning. Come on, Temple. He's right, Kitty. We'd be crazy not to sell at that price. I'll sleep on it, Sam. Sure, sure, you do that. But come on out back for a minute. I want to show you that new whiskey we ordered. All right. Uh, I'm going out back for a minute, Matt. Okay, Kitty. Well, I'll be doggone. What do you make of that, Mr. Dillon? Sounds like a good deal, don't it? Yeah. If, like Sam said, it's legitimate. Why don't 
you live modern. Only with L&M can you enjoy the full, exciting flavor of today's finest tobaccos through the modern miracle of the L&M Miracle Tip. Through the pure white Miracle Tip, L&M tastes richer, smokes cleaner, draws easier. No other cigarette, plain or filter, gives you all the flavor you want, the rich, exciting flavor you get only from L&M. So light up, free up, let your taste come alive, live modern. Smoke L and M. Make today your big red letter day and start to live the modern way. Live, live, live modern. Get L and M today. I just ate, and I'm still hungry. But it's a nice morning, though, ain't it, Mr. Dillon? Yeah, nice enough to get Kitty out bright and early. What? Oh. <laughs> Say, she looks mighty pretty, don't she? Mm-hmm. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Miss Kitty. Well, are you in business or out, Kitty? In. I told them this morning I'm not selling. Oh, huh? well. How's Sam feel about it? Sam's hardly speaking to me. <laughs> How bad? Oh, well, what decided you? I honestly don't know, Matt. Maybe I just don't like those two. And I don't like their big hurry, either. They insist the deal has to be settled by Wednesday, day after tomorrow, no later. So I told them I needed more time, that's all. But they can't wait, so I made a definite no. Well, it's your right, Kitty. It sure is. Well, drop around later, huh? Okay. It's long, Miss Kitty. Bye. Well, that's that. Yeah. Hey, look, Mr. Dillon. What? Them two fellows. You think they're fixing to follow her? It won't do them any good. When Kitty makes up her mind, she doesn't often change it. Marshal Dillon. Uh, hello, Brace. Devil. How'd you know our names? I've heard. Oh, through Kitty Russell, no doubt. Do you want to see me? You see, you're a good friend of Kitty's. Yeah, that's right. She tell you about turning down our offer? She mentioned it, yeah. She's making a mistake, Marshal. Well, I think it's up to her what she does, don't you? Oh, sure, sure. Maybe you could kind of change your mind. What? By Wednesday. There's a thousand dollars in it for you. Better take it, Marshal. I had, huh? Tell me something, Temple. Is that more or less than he's paying you? Huh? Hey, now, look at Easy, here. easy, Temple. What do you say, Marshal? I don't know what your game is, Brees, but if I find out and I don't happen to like it, you're going to be in trouble. Both of you. Come on, Temple. Yeah. We'll meet again, Marshal. Any time. My goodness, they're going to bear watching, ain't they? Yeah, they sure are. Number nine. Go ahead, Temple. Knock. Mm-hmm. What do you want? <laughs> we want to talk to you, Kitty. In private. Now, look here. Just be quiet. What do you think you're doing, busting into my room Shut like up, this? else you'll get hurt. Oh, so that's it. I should have known you were nothing but a hired gun when I first saw you, right, Temple. You uh, let go of me! <laughs> Hit me, I'll show you. Ah, oh, Temple, now hold it. Leave her alone. She slapped me. I said leave her alone. Yeah. <clears throat> you later, Kitty. Kitty, you listen to me. 
I'm going to make it real short. Then you're through now. Get out of here. We're going to buy the Long Branch, Kitty. And we're going to buy it before Wednesday. No, you're not. Okay, Kitty. You were right about Red Temple. He is a gunman. So? You're going to have him shoot me? No, no. Your partner, Sam Noonan. You wouldn't dare. But if you go to the marshal or anybody else about it, he'll shoot you, too. It'd be a pleasure. No, look. You can't do anything to Sam. We'll kill him. That's all. Think it over, Kitty. Think it over hard. is the modern cigarette that lets you get all the full, exciting flavor of today's finest tobaccos. No other cigarette you can buy, plain or filter, gives you the flavor that you get through the modern miracle of the L&M Miracle Tip. Through the pure white Miracle Tip, L&M tastes richer, smokes cleaner, draws easier. So light up, free up, let your taste come alive. Live modern. Smoke L&M. Make today your big red letter day and start to live the modern way. Live, live, live modern. Get L&M today. Kitty, she's changed her mind. We're going to sell the Long Branch after all. You are? Uh, here, ask her. You tell him, Kitty. Well, about selling? It's true, Matt. Why should I turn down all that easy money? I was just being stubborn, I guess. Well, you had to think it over some, Kitty. I understand that now. But at least it's your decision. Nobody pushed you into doing it. No. Uh... Come by tomorrow afternoon, Marshal. Drinks will be on the house. Tomorrow? Well, after we get through signing the papers at the bank. We're going to have a little celebration. I'll see you then. Okay, Sam. Uh, Kitty? Hmm? How come you changed your mind? You really want to know? Well, if you want to tell me. I did it for a friend, Matt. I did it for Sam. Well, good morning, Matt. It's past noon, Doc. Well, then it's time to go eat some dinner. All right. As soon as Chester gets back from the depot. Depot? He go to meet somebody? Oh, Chester meets everybody who comes in. But his excuse is that he's picking up the mail. <laughs> oh, sit on, Doc. Ah, thank you. Thank you, man. Oh, ah, Say, you know, Dodge ought to put Chester on the payroll as a kind of official greeter. Yeah, yeah he'd like that. <laughs> he wouldn't either. But it's kind of funny. He welcomes them, makes them feel at home, and then you come along and look them over and run half of them back out of town again. <laughs> Well, maybe that's why I'm not as popular around here as I might be. Well, lawman isn't supposed to be popular, man. Not if he's doing his job right. No, I guess so. You know, practically everybody has something on his conscience, Doc. Yes, that's true. Yeah, that is, even of me. Oh? Uh, you uh, want to tell me about it, or wait till I find out and come after you? Huh? Well, um... Uh... No, I'll wait. I'll It'll kind of give you something to think about on rainy afternoon. Okay, Doc. Hey, Mr. Dillon, 
Oh, hello, Doc. You here? No, I'm not, Chester. Oh, a friend of yours in town, Mr. Dillon, I met him down at the depot. Oh, who, Chester? Uh, Glenn Horn. Do you remember him? Uh, sure I do. One of the richest gamblers in Abilene. What's he doing here? He didn't say. Oh, well, where is he? He went to the Dodge house. He said he'd be by later. Oh? Uh -huh. Glenn Horn doesn't travel for pleasure. I think I'll go see him right now. Well, Glenn, the whole thing begins to make sense, doesn't it? Yes, it sure does, but I don't like being taken for a fool, Matt. And I won't be in the middle on any kind of a crooked game. You never have, I know of. I don't even know this pair, this uh, Brees and Temple. Now, the game works better for them that you don't. I'll admit I was talking some about my plans, but I never thought anybody'd try a trick like this. Anything for a dollar, Glenn. I suppose you've got some fool law here against shooting people. <laughs> well, you take them back to Abilene and shoot them. I'd rather have Bill Hickok worry about it. No, I'm serious, man. And you leave the fighting to me, Glenn. If there is any. Do you think his Red Temple's much of a gunman? Well, you never know till it happens. But if we handle it the way we plan, maybe there won't be any shooting. Men like them never give up easy, Matt. Well, let's find out. You ready to go? I'm ready for anything. Come on. Bar, have a drink. Now we just started celebrating, Marshal. What'll you have? Ah, oh, you can draw me a beer, son. Coming right up. The deal's all set, huh, Kitty? Signed and sealed, Matt. Uh -huh. Hello, Breeze. Temple, Marshal. Sam and Kitty have ten thousand cash in the bank, Marshal, and I've got the bill of sale. Right here. Ah, oh, that's fine. Breeze? Yeah. Glenn Horn. Hmm? He got here just right, didn't he? <laughs> sure did. He let me handle this now. Yeah, yeah. Who is he, Matt? Wait a minute, Kitty. Well, Marshal Dillon. Hello, Mr. Horn. What are you doing here? Oh, just business. How you been, Marshal? Oh, fine, thank you. Oh, this is Kitty Russell, uh, Glenn Horn. How do you do, Kitty? Hello. Here's your beer, Marshal. Oh, thank you, Sam. Uh, Sam, this is Glenn Horn. Sam Noonan. Hello, Sam. Have a drink. We're celebrating. No, thanks. I'm taking the train back to Abilene in a few minutes. What did he say? Shut up, Temple. I thought you were here on business, Mr. Horn. Well, I was, Marshal, but I've changed my mind. Matter of fact, I was going to make an offer for the Long Branch here. You were going to buy it? Well, I was going to try to buy it, Miss Kitty. I guess I told everybody in Abilene about it. I even told them I was going to offer 15000 for it. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Horn. My name's Brees. My partner there is Red Temple. Hey, we just bought the Long Branch. Well, that's fine, Mr. Brace. I wish you good luck with it. Yeah, you haven't really changed your mind, have you? Yes, I've decided I prefer Abilene to Dodge. I don't know why I was thinking of moving anyway. Yeah, but it's for sale. Uh, we'll sell it to you, maybe even for 14000 You'll do what? You'll stay out of this. No, it's no use, Mr. Brace. My mind's made up. Goodbye, Miss Kitty. Goodbye. Sam. Goodbye, Mr. Horn. Good to see you again, Marshal. Yeah, I'll look you up in Abilene sometime. Bye. We can't let him go, Breeze. He means what he says, Temple. Hey, uh, Kitty. Sam, I got something to tell you. What? Here's the bill of sale. You can have it back. What do you mean? We've changed our minds, too. We want our money. What's going on here, anyway? Deal. Deal's off. We want our money. We're going back to the bank and get it right now. But you can't do that. Yes, we can, Wait Sam. a minute, Temple. I want to explain Marshal, something. just you keep out of this. Not man. likely. What is it, Matt? It's real simple, Kitty. Glenn Horn was thinking of offering 15000 for the Long Branch, and these two heard about it. So they bought it for 10000 and were going to make a fast $5,000 profit on it. But they were going to pay us another 5000 a year for two years. Yeah, if you could find them. Men like them can disappear pretty easy. Rotten crooks. I should have known. You forgetting something, Kitty? All right, Temple. I haven't said anything. Oh. So that's it, huh? They've been threatening you, Kitty? No, Matt. 
You're looking at me, Temple, and you keep looking at me. Shoot him, Temple. I'd do it, Marshal. Nobody else is armed, Temple. I guess it'll have to be me. Hmm. You first, anyway. <laughs> You killed him. You should have hired a better gunman, Breeze. You can't touch me. I ain't done nothing illegal. No, but you're leaving town after we go to the bank. What? You want your money back, don't you? Kitty, you and Sam come along, too. Glenn Horn is waiting there with 15000 if you still want to sell. No. No, that ain't fair. Breeze, you're lucky to get out of this alive. Now you keep quiet. Are you, too? You still want to sell? I ain't even going to the bank, Marshal. After this, I'm leaving all such matters with Kitty. Good. Then we're still going to be running this place, Sam. Let's go, Matt. In a moment, our star, William Conrad. How can we make America a better place to live? First, we must keep our own homes in good condition. That goes without saying. Secondly, we must clean up slums. Slums hurt everyone, not only those who live in them. If there's a slum near you, it lowers the value of your house. If there's a slum anywhere, it breeds delinquency and crime, which you pay for in higher taxes. What can you do? Well, some slums are beyond repair and should be torn down, but some can be rehabilitated. Right now, local groups may be at work in your town seeking adequate housing for all our people. Find them. Join them. Write to Action. Action is the American Council to Improve Our Neighborhoods. It's a new national nonprofit organization designed to give you the information you need to protect the housing health of your community. Send for Action's free booklet. Write today to Action... Box 20, Radio City Station, New York 20, New York. This has been a CBS Radio public service announcement. And now, William Conrad. You know, on the frontier, most men, even the gunfighters, wore only one gun. Because they felt if you couldn't get the job done with five bullets, you shouldn't get in arguments to begin with. And that was the West. Gunsmoke. Produced and directed by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Bill James. Featured in the cast were John Daner, Lawrence Dobkin, Vic Perrin, and Harry Bartell. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Join us again next week for another specially transcribed story as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal, fights to bring law and order out of the wild violence of the West in Gunsmoke.